Okay, in this video we're looking at an example of um, where you have to look at the ratio in equations to work out the number of moles produced. So here's the problem. Two grams of sodium are reacted with excess HCl. What volume of H2 gas would be produced? Okay, so let's grab my pen. First thing, first step in this kind of, kind of question is ring the substance you can calculate the moles for and the substance you want to calculate. So I've been told that I've got two grams of sodium. It's reacted with excess HCl. I don't know, I can't work out how many moles there are for an excess reagent like that. I've got any, any more information, so that's not relevant. Uh, all, I, all I know is that there's more than enough to react with all the sodium. The sodium is a limiting reagent. What volume of H2 gas? I'm trying to work out this, the hydrogen. Okay? So the first thing to do is ring the things that you want to work out. So I'll help you later on. Okay. So, second step is write a balanced equation. So we've got sodium with HCl, NaCl, H2. If it's H2, you're going to need a 2 in front of the HCl, which means that you're going to need a 2 in front of that. If you've got a 2 in front of that, you need a 2 there. Okay? So it must be balanced, that's really important. Calculate the moles of the known substance. So we've got two grams of sodium. So the relative atomic mass of sodium is 23. So the moles is mass over molar mass. So it's two over 23. So this is just a case of using the right triangle here. This is mass and moles. Moles equals mass over molar mass. I'm leaving it as a fraction at the moment because I'm, so I don't have to do too much rounding before I get to the final answer. But if you were asked to actually give the moles like in a step-by-step -step question, I'd actually convert that into a decimal. Okay, so step four, compare the ratio in the equation. So for, we're just looking at the sodium hydrogen, okay, because that's what we know about and that's what we want to work out. About. The other two don't matter. So we've got two for every one of these. That's what has to be balanced correctly, two to one. So for every two moles of this, I need to make one mole of that. I make half the amount. So if I've got two over 23 moles of this, I'll make half the amount, one over 23 moles of H2. Okay. Then answer the question, the question way back was asking us what volume of hydrogen gas would be produced. So volume of gas equals moles times by 24,000. So the moles of hydrogen gas was 1 over 23. I times that by 24,000 and that gives me 1,043. That's rounded to four significant figures. Centimeters cubed because I'm using 24,000. Okay. 